Hello everyone, and welcome to the Stalwart Initiative. I'm Kyle, and today we're going to do a much requested video as of late. We had a, a few people in our community and in other communities ask about how to do incorporate GIFs into your Roll20 tabletop, virtual tabletop games. And uh, it's actually very, very simple. And uh, shout out to Sissian, a member of our community, uh, for teaching it to me. And now I can uh, teach uh, the easy process to you guys. So let's hop right in here. And okay, so uh, to use GIFs in Rule Twenty, it's and like I said, it's very, very simple. So we will. You'll hop into Rule Twenty. Over here is your. Over on the right side is your chat, and let's say that you are a player and you're at the end of an epic campaign and you have assured yourself victory, uh, your party has defeated the end foe, or, or you've just accomplished the end mission. And the DM is reading off a, a very, um, very meaningful and powerful narrative to to wrap it up but you're just you know you're just too excited you have to get you know, have to get it out so you want to you want to plop a gif out there just to you know celebrate well but you don't want to interrupt the the dm you know he, he's he's gone through this journey with you too so you want to let him finish his narrative so uh what you'd want to do if you wanted to just pop a uh, a gif into chat it would be you would go to your site of uh that you get your GIFs at. I usually use uh, Jiffy, but uh, you would go to the site and you would find whatever GIF you want. Let's say let's we're celebrating, so let's dance. So look at dances. Um, okay. Well, Napoleon's Napoleon's classic. So we'll just you grab the. Napoleon Dynamite Dance, and we go back into our chat, and you want to use an identifier word. So you it, you wouldn't put an identifier word in squared brackets. So you would square bracket. Uh, let's say dance as your identifier word, and close the brackets, and then parentheses. You paste your link. Make sure there's no space between your identifying word and your link. So. Um, so open bracket, dance, close bracket, parentheses, paste your link, and then close close parentheses. And that that's it right there. So poof. That it is that simple. Now now maybe you wanted to tell the rest of the, the players, you know, wow. I can't believe we made it. You would do that, leave a space, and then do the process. So you would put your identifying word, we'll say it's, you know, yay, whatever. Dance, yay, whatever it may be. And then your parentheses, drop your link, close your parentheses, and there you go. Wow, I can't believe we made it. Now, for a uh, just very, very slightly more complex, you, uh, let's say you want to attach it to a character sheet. You want to make uh, all your spells or special moves or features in your character have GIFs attached to them. So let's say, um, ah, my dear buddy Blownth. Blownth, our little kobold sorcerer. So um, let's say that Blownth, uh, this is just a blank blown sheet. Uh, by the way, I recommend this is my stable game. I, uh, it's where I keep all my player characters, and um, I can import them, export them at, into other people's games. If I, you know, just just to keep them on hand in case you need to call upon them in a hurry. Maybe we'll do an importing exporting video of character sheets sometime. I had a few questions on that too. But uh, anyway, let's let, let's check it out here. Let's do counterspell. So. Um, we have his, we have blown spells open in his in the character sheet and this is D&D 5e that, that that I'm using right now uh, their OGL sheet so let's go into the compendium the roll 20 compendium which is uh, roll 20s wh where they have their um, info already built in to help expedite the process for you and explain things so let's search the counter spell counter spell spell in the compendium 
You'll see it shows up here. And we'll take it and we'll drag it onto our character sheet. And poof! It pops in our level 3 spell slots. And I'll open it up. And here's all the information on Counterspell. And what we want to do here... Let, now, here's, here's a disclaimer. So you see all this description here for Counterspell. Okay, this, this pops up anytime you cast Counterspell. Um, if you're using GIFs, try to take it easy on your player, other fellow players in DM, or your players if you're the DM. And uh, tr if you have a huge block of text, a, a large text wall, uh, just be be careful with the GIFs. You don't want to make, you don't want to, uh, you know, hog up the entire chat so they don't have to scroll through a bunch of stuff. Uh, we're going to do it for this instance. Now, there is a, quite a big uh, chat block here, but we're going to do it regardless for this instance. So, Counterspell. So, what you would do is, um, we'll figure out a GIF for Counterspell. So, let's just search... No. Just no. The good old no spell. So, uh... Oh, right there. The Jonah Hill. Eh, nah. Cut it out. Beautiful. Okay, so um, we want to call it no. So we use uh, as our identifying word. So open bracket, no, close bracket, open parentheses, paste our link, close parentheses, and that's it. So we just make sure there's a space be before it and a space after. That way that's not uh, connecting into any other chain of text. And we come up here and we close our cog. So now our counter spell, we, all we've done is just add that in there and we will cast it. So cast it right there. It's going to ask what level because counter spell can be cast at higher levels. We're just going to cast it at level three. So it's going to be the same regardless of what we cast it at. We'll go back over to chat and here we go. So over here we have counter spell. It gives all the normal information that it would otherwise. There's the te text block and then there's our, our GIF. No. Sorry. Nope. And uh, also at higher level the higher level features. So uh, that's it. It's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put them in the chat. Um, I'm no expert, but I'll try to do my best to, to help you out. And yeah, until next time, um, thanks for joining me and I hope this helps you out and have a good day.